very exciting. So After remarkably little experimentation, I can now cut monocrystalline laser cells with precision. That is the entire raison d'etre for my laser cutter, or at least the immediate one. Um, so I am beyond thrilled that I can cut exactly shaped pieces of monocrystalline cells. Yes! Hooray! So this means I can make uh, better solar cells, better solar arrays than this one from Bunnings out of bare cells. Ah, that's awesome. Okay, uh, I'm going to try some different shapes, see if I can cut a circle. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, sorry, the important thing to note here is that the cut line is um, parallel with the thin lines. Um, because these solar cells love, the, the, the monocrystalline cells love to crack diagonal to those lines because uh, that's the, the grain structure of the cell. So you see here, that's a, like an organic crack. It really loves to break at 45 degrees. Um, but getting it to break consistently parallel is what I was trying to do all along. Um, so it took a, a bit of fiddling around, but that's um, 50 millimeters a minute. 70% power on an 80 watt tube, six passes. And as you saw in the video, well, it might not be obvious from the video, but the um, the substrate kind of starts to contract, and then it bends up, forms like a like a V, and that provides a a guide for the the snap. Yes. 